Hi friends, hope everyone is doing good. So today I'm going to show everyone's favorite recipe that is kurka. So kurka can be made in different different styles. So today we are going to make kurka uh, like how we make uh, beef or uh, chicken fry. Okay. Uh, in US we don't get often fresh kurka. So here I've taken about two um, packets of uh, frozen uh, Chinese potato which I've thawed and thoroughly washed about uh, three to four times. Though most of the frozen foods are 60 to 70 percent uh, cooked before they pack it. Mm, but still you have to wash the kurka because otherwise you I've noticed that when you eat, you can feel small sand particles. So do not forget that. And then since it's cooked, you don't have to, you know, cook it for a long period of time. Otherwise, the kuka will become mashed potato. Okay. So um, I have transferred this into a clay pot and then to which I have added about half a glass of water. Do not add too much of water. And also I'm going to add a little bit of salt and about uh, one teaspoon of uh, Kashmiri chili powder to give it nice color and a half teaspoon of turmeric and mix it gently using a spoon or spatula so you can see how much water I have added do not add too much of water see how gentle I am now at after this just close it and leave it there for about four to five minutes on medium flame. Do not increase the flame otherwise your kurka will be burnt, uh, the water will evaporate fast and um, you know it will get stuck to the bottom. And then after this you uh, you know transfer it into a plate like so what I have done over there and then I've taken the same uh, clay pot I've added about one to two tablespoons of oil and when the oil gets warm you have taken coconut oil by the way when the oil gets hot go ahead and add about half teaspoon of mustard seeds and when the mustard seeds start spluttering uh, into the oil I'm going to add about uh, two to three small shallots which I have crushed along with three to four uh, some, uh, cloves of uh, garlic. Along with that I've also added some green chilies and curry leaves and into this I'm going to add about uh, three to four small size shallots which I have sliced into small pieces. Now saute it until it becomes golden brown. As you can see here, the onions have become golden brown. Now at this stage, I'm going to add about one teaspoon of crushed red chili. Saute it on low flame for about few seconds and then uh, have added here about one teaspoon of chicken masala and one teaspoon of coriander powder and then half teaspoon of turmeric powder and one teaspoon of Kashmiri chili powder to give it a good color and then once the masalas have fried go ahead and add the uh, Chinese potato make sure the flame when you roast the masalas are at the lowest now gently stir it around and if there is not enough salt go ahead and add additional salt and then keep the flame at the lowest and uh, close it for about uh, three to four minutes so that all the masalas get incorporated into the curry. Now you can see how beautiful it looks. So um, especially for vegetarians, this would be an excellent dish. It can replace any meat, pro, you know, meat uh, curries or meat fries that you wish for. Okay, so guys, uh, give this a try and let me know if you like it.